morning everyone thanks for joining me again on uh, another drop-in session today we're going to be looking at our new ordering portal uh, for 3cx um because i know we, we've well we've made a lot of improvements to uh, the existing ordering process uh which is a little outdated let's be honest um so within process now if you don't have login details to process or you've never seen this before come speak to me um i'm more than happy to do you know a full-on demo of process and show you um, all the ins and outs of it, because it's not only is this used for the 3CX side now, but it's also used to be hardware ordering, and the configuration, uh, management of handsets, et cetera. Um, but when you log into Process, uh, this will be the view you see. Um, you will have a management section. It'll most likely be at the top here um, for you guys, because you won't see the supplier information tab. Uh, but you'll have this, uh, the management side, and right at the bottom here, we've got my 3CX keys. So if you're set up as a partner, You'll have this page here and it'll show your first your, your partner ID and what level of partner you are. Um, and this will automatically update as and when you get to the next levels. What you're going to see in this view is um, a way to a, order new keys, but also um, any expiring keys within the next 90 days. Um, unfortunately, we can't show a full year. Uh, there are some limitations to the API that 3CX um have however uh, 90 days is, is is more than sufficient um at least for the time being so um what i'll show first i suppose is going to be the the actual ordering of a new key so nice and easy little flow to follow so you click the drop down box select if you want an enterprise or professional uh, in this case let's just go for a professional you then get another box to choose you know how many simultaneous calls you need um, again just pick 24. you'll then have the option to add hosting or if you don't want hosting, you know, just click add to basket. In this case, we'll just add, add add hosting. Once you're ready, you can just click add to basket. It's then going to put it into your basket. You can click at the top right, or you can click view your basket. Now this will go after a certain period of time, or you can exit off um, if you still wanted to renew some additional keys. Once you're ready, you can hit the top right here, go to your basket, and this will then bring you. Um, it'll put the license codes in and the part codes that you need. It's going to give you the pricing, give you your totals, um, and then if you want a PO reference, you can add that at this stage. Once you've added your PO, you can then hit submit order, and that'll come through to us um, and be processed. Of course, you can get back either by just going back, or you can go to the main dashboard again and find in the uh, my 3CX keys. At the bottom here, we've got the expiry date um, in date order. So of course you've got your, your, you know, the ones expiring sooner first. You've got the license key. You've got a tag. Now we'll come back to the tag in a little bit um, to talk a little bit about that because that is actually a new feature that's not implemented just yet. Uh, we've got the type. So this is going to be a commercial. Whether you've got a proof of concept key would show here, or, or even a free key, they'll show here. What the actual license is. So you know, your 24, your four, um, and if it's hosted or not. So if you're ready to renew, you can just come over, you can click renew, it'll add it to your basket. You can click multiple of these to renew at the same time to make it easier, uh, but it's up to you whether you want to renew those um, at the same time or not. And I know some people do like separate PO numbers per order, uh, but let's just say we've added these two. Um, again, we can hit the, uh, the basket at the top right. And now what it's gonna do is put all the part codes into the, the basket and also give us the serial or the, the license keys. Course, these are demo ones, but um, you get the idea. Once you've uh, again put your PO number in, submitted that, that'll come through to us and we'll get it, uh, we'll get the process for you. Um, of course, if you, you know, you decide actually I don't need to renew one, you can just, um, you know, exit off and it's going to remove the license key as well. Let's go back. Um, as you can see as well, some are hosted, some are not. So the hosted ones are always gonna add the additional part code for the hosting as well. In terms of the tag, so the tag's quite useful for, um, I suppose, cross-referencing or just seeing which keys is associated to which customer and just to try and make the management that much more easier uh, from your side. Now these tags will save. Um, so if you, for example, we've got school one here, if you did renew this, it would drop off the list because it's not expiring in the next 90 days. When the time comes again for renewal, that tag will still be stored. You'll see the tag 
um, and you'll know which which customer that is. So, I mean, of course, you can choose whatever tag you want. You can have, um, so if we click to add a new tag here, we can maybe put, you know, school two, for example. So it's up to you whether you want to put your uh, customer's names. You just want to put some other reference there. You know, the choice is yours. What we can do as well, so we do have a little search bar at the top here. Now, the search bar is going to, um, well, basically allow you to search for either a license key or a tag. So if you had quite a few tags or, sorry, a few license keys, because um, obviously depending on your partner status, you might have quite a long list of licenses. You can search up here. Um, but if we just did that, the school one, and it'll show us the uh, the key here, and we can just click to renew. Now this list will update once a day, um, and it's usually in the morning. Um, so it's usually at 9 a.m. is when it updates. We've just done this uh, a little bit earlier this morning because it'll give you a timestamp here, uh, but it's come up a little bit earlier because we put some data in uh, for this uh, for this webinar. So I can see there's actually a question that's already come in. Um, so can can you add hardware to the same order? Yes, yeah, you can add hardware at the same time. So if, for example, if we went to, um, you know, if we renewed this key, oh, we can click view basket, it'll come over here. This is essentially the same ordering basket that you use when you're using process. So you can add any number of hardware uh, to this order as well. If we did, let's say a T46U, we can add that to the basket there. What will typically happen at our side, um, because one's a license, one's a, a hardware piece, it'll get part shipped. So you'll probably get another email saying it's been part shipped, but essentially your hardware is going to get shipped the same day. And then your license will be through shortly if it's either a new one or, or a renewal. And of course, you all have the same functionality. So you can choose your delivery address for this piece of hardware. You know, it'll give you the carrier options as well. So feel free to get some questions in. Um, that's that's really it. I mean, it, the, the idea is it is supposed to be just simple. It is supposed to be, uh, you know, make your life much more easier to, to renew keys, uh, renew multiple at the same time. Um, we do also have the option for startup as well, um, which is somewhat of a new um, license for 3CX. So again, you can choose here um, if you want a 20 extension and add that to your basket um, and get that, get that process for you. So. All new license keys, when you process it on, on the portal, you'll get a dispatch confirmation email, similar to if you just emailed or phoned in, you get the license key on your dispatch confirmation email. If a license also been processed, so within process, you can actually find the license key. You can go back to your main dashboard and you can go to your order history. You then just either find the order or you can search um, for the reference number uh, or your PO number that you've put in. You can then go into your, I mean, we don't have a license key here, but if it was a, you know, this order, uh, it might not have a dispatch. Um, it does. So we've got a dispatch here. We would have the serial number here, similar to the 3CX. We just have the license key in the dispatch as well. So you've got a few different ways to get the license key. So that's it really, uh, in terms of the uh, the ordering portal. Um, as I mentioned at the start, if anyone does want uh, a bit more of a, a rundown of process in its entirety, let me know. I'm more than happy to get something arranged for you so we can get um, get you using process today. Um, you can manage your handsets, you can do your ordering, um, you can track your orders, you can do your order history and, and whatnot. Um, so it is a really powerful tool and, and all in one place as well. Um, so I'll hang around for another minute or two if we've got any questions, but um, also feel free to get in touch. Uh, my name's Jason, of course, so um, just give us a call on uh, the main phone, you'll get through to me, so. Uh, but uh, yeah, as I said, I'll wait around. Um, oh, I can see the question, let's have a look. If you have a license, uh, keep pre-ordered for three seconds and have a trial system running, how do you add it to the system to fully license it? Uh, so if you have a license, keep pre-ordered for three seconds and have a trial system. So if you've got a proof of concept key or a trial key, they will show in here. Um, so essentially what we class the proof of concept keys when you actually go to renew it, it is essentially, it, it is an upgrading 3CX, but really it's just a renewal because the, when you renew it, 
it's uh, starting from that date. Um, so you just have the option to renew it. That would come through to us, and we would again, we would just essentially upgrade or renew it. Um, and then from whenever, whenever that date is, you know, they occurs, the new expiry date will be that point. Um, so I just keep that in mind. So if you want to get the, I guess the most, you know, the most use out of your license or your proof of concept keys, you know, maybe just wait to, um, until um, you know a, a day before or two days before. Um, but yeah, you'll you'll see them in here, and you'll be able to to uh, to renew those. Now, upgrades are not really functional at the moment within this. So if you did want to, if you did have an eight call license, you want to go to a sixteen, you can't do that. That would be a case of you know give us a call or or um or email it in. Um, we are working on a solution to this. The trouble we've got at the moment is there are some limitations with the API, so there's only so much we can actually um, we can get essentially. Um, I think we will be implementing upgrades for the last or for the next 90 day keys, um, but uh, but we're still sort of in, in the process of that as well. So, and of course, if there are any features that you want to see, you know, just let us know, and we'll we'll um, as a as useful feedback because um, you guys are going to be the ones using it every day. So I hope that answers your question as well. I'll give it another minute uh, if we've got any more questions. I've got a question here. How do you, sorry, can you just show again how you order a new license? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so for license ordering, you can just click at the top left here. You can click professional. You can click however many calls you need, uh, whether that's an enterprise, you know, you choose. Um, then you can hit your 48 call. If it needs hosting, click this button here. If it doesn't, just click add to basket. Once this, you've got your hosting that's been added, you can add to basket. Again, either view your basket over the top or the bottom, sorry, the top right, you'll have a little um, basket here as well. You can click to get to it. Um, and that will then put the, the part codes essentially in the basket for, for ordering. So I don't think there's any more questions coming through. Um, as I said, reach out to me. It's, it's Jason um, at proview.co.uk if it's my email, or just get us on the main line uh, and ask for Jason, you'll come straight through to me. So I appreciate everyone's time. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.